Hey guys, I thought I would talk about a little tournament I'm going to run. It's, as you can see, an eight-team double elimination tournament. But it's kind of going to go polar opposite to what Earl at Tabletop Baseball is doing. He's doing the League of Domination. I'm calling this tournament the League of Desperation, as I've taken the eight worst teams I can find on Stratomatic with the cards that I have and doing an eight-team double elimination tournament and the winner of the tournament is actually going to be the one who loses. So if you win twice, you're out. So it's just reversed. So let's look at the eight Vagabond teams I have come up with. And again, these are not the eight worst teams in baseball history. These are the eight worst teams for the cards that I have. So as we go up to our tote board here, the number one seed, let me do this here this way, maybe that will help. The number one seed is going to be the Milwaukee Brewers of 2002, and they had a 346 winning percentage. Maybe they should have been the eighth seed because they're the highest ranked team or best team. Oh, I won't cover. I'll just go and show them all. Why not? The second seed is Tampa Bay from the same season, 2002. They had a 342 winning percentage. The third best team in this tournament, and this tells you how bad the teams are, the third best team in the tournament, it's a tie. Well, no, it's not a tie. I take it back. Atlanta, 1988, a 338 winning percentage. And we all know how bad Atlanta was in 1988. The fourth seed is the Baltimore Orioles from the same season, 1988. Remember, they started 0-21. They finished with a 335 uh, winning percentage. And they actually tied with the expansion Toronto Blue Jays of 1977, who also had a 335 winning percentage. And there was no rhyme or reason as to who I picked fourth and fifth. I just... Wrote them down that way. Six, there's also a tie at six and seven. The two expansion teams from 1969, the Padres and the Expos, both finished with winning percentages of 321, so they are the sixth and seventh seeds. And finally, the eighth seed is that awful Detroit team from 2003. They had a winning percentage of 265. So as we look at our brackets, first round games, first round games are gonna have Milwaukee play Detroit Seed one against seed eight. Then we're going to have Baltimore play Toronto. Seed four against seed five. Atlanta plays San Diego. Seed three against seed six. And finally, Tampa Bay will play Montreal. Seed two against seed seven. And then they're just going to branch off as how they will do. So that's what I've got going on. Um, aside from all the other things I've been doing, I'm, I want to throw this out there as well. Um, also going to be doing the uh, little, I'm not sure if it's one game or a, a series of the Hall of Famers against the not-so-Hall of Famers. So that's in the works. And I'll also be uh, you know, still doing my Atlanta Braves History Maker Baseball season replay and some stuff with payoff pitch. So I'm going to try to keep myself busy. And hopefully this little tournament here will be, turn out to be interesting. See how things go. Remember the first game is going to be Milwaukee against Detroit. So that awful Detroit team from 2003, I've not played a game with either one of these teams, uh, Milwaukee or Detroit. I've got the sets, but I haven't played with these teams. i play with other teams in the set. So this will be my first experience with them. So that should prove to be interesting, so to speak. So that's it from here. I uh, just wanted to put that out there real quickly to say what I was working on. And... Not sure what order I'm going to put things out, but I'll figure it out as I go and as time allows. But uh, hopefully, I want to get this started not in the not too distant future. Um, not sure as I'm, I'm I'm recording this, but I don't know when I'm going to post it. But when I post this, I'm hoping to have already played the Hall of Fame versus the not so Hall of Famers. So uh, that's it from here. Uh, just put out what I'm doing or what I plan on doing. Um, not trying to steal a page from Earl at Tabletop because he has the uh, League of Domination. This is the League of Desperation, so I decided to go the opposite direction, see how low can we go, and see if we can uh, get a team, a really bad team, to actually win something for a change. So I'll talk to everybody down the road.